Alright, so in this video we're going to be getting the level 4 and desolation badges. So you want to start in level 2. Uh, you come from here. And you just want to follow me. Alright, so there are entities in this level. But they're slow and you can juke them out. So level 4 is pretty much opposite from the direction you're facing when you come in here. And there is a respawn here, so if you get lost or you die to an entity, you can just keep trying. So essentially the entrance was like that, right? So now we're turning around and going the opposite direction. And you will find this door. And then that is it. You're out. And now you're in level 4. To get the desolation ending, you just have to escape this level. And by the way, the no clip tool I have in my inventory, just disregard that. That's just something I use for testing and debugging. You don't need that to do anything. Alright. You just want to follow me. The exit is about this direction I'm looking at. There are no entities in this level. And it's fairly bland, so feel free to just speed run through it. There isn't much here. windows are fake, you can't actually go through them. And if you can hear that sound, that is the exit. That's how I get the desolation badge. You've exited the back rooms. Unfortunately, the world looks a lot different. As I said in another video, time is relative in the back rooms. So you felt like you were in there for a couple of minutes, but in reality it was almost several decades. And so then it's just a little bit of an ending story. I'll let you pay attention to that. So as you can see, it's implied that between some time between you entering the back rooms and exiting, there was some kind of war, most likely a nuclear war, that destroyed most of the world. That's unrelated to the back rooms, but it's just an interesting side story nonetheless. Yep, and that is the desolation ending. In the other videos, I will be completing the real life ending and the true ending, also known as the watcher ending. 